Hello, and welcome back to GM Flatgrass for yet another episode of Wire Mod Essentials. Being a rather popular concept among ninjas and builders alike, I decided to create my next tutorial based around mouse-aimed weaponry. This tutorial will encompass the builds of two objects, the first being a mouse-aimed turret, and the second being a mouse-guided missile. Neither will be using the laser pointer tool. Instead, we'll be using vector thrusters and advanced bot controllers. Now, since this will be a vehicle controlled contraption, we'll need to place an advanced pod controller, like usual. So, go into the wire menu, get the advanced pod controller, which is under I out, or input output, place it, and then link it. Or right click the link. Now, that bar on the right will be our swivel. We want it to move in the direction that we're pointing. So, in order to achieve this freedom, and keep it in the same place at the same time, pull out the ball socket easy tool, all setting zero, and ball socket it to the base of our turret. Now that that's done, we need to get the two vectors that we'll be comparing. The way this works is it gathers two vectors and compares them through subtraction to get our angles. The first vector is our location. Our location can be used, our location can be gathered from a GPS chip, which for the greatest accuracy will be placed on the origin of prop. Now to find the origin of the prop is simple enough. Just freeze it with the fizz gun. When you freeze it, you'll see that little white circle up here. Where the white circle shrinks into is the prop origin. So place the GPS as close to that place as you can. Right there, on the end of the prop. All right. Now we have our first location down. We need to find a, and the second location is stored within our advanced pod controller, which will be our aim position. To compare these two, we need to subtract them. Now, other tutorials will tell you to use three different ships that output and input normal numbers to subtract x, y, and z separately. There's a much simpler way to do this. Under the gate vector, you can find a vector subtraction chip. This reduces three gates with six wires to one gate with two wires, making things a whole lot more simple and a whole lot less messy. Now we need the wire. Wire A from the gate subtraction to the GPS, since we're subtracting our component, our directional components from the other's vector. Now to get the position of where we're aiming, wire B from the subtraction to the advanced pod controller and select output aim pause. So you don't run past it, just look for X, Y, Z on the advanced pod controller outputs. Aim position is right after XYZ. Now we need something to push the bar in the direction that we're aiming. To do that, we need to get out a special thruster, which angles its thrust in different directions depending on a vector input. This is known as a vector thruster. So that the vector thruster places the origin on the map instead of on itself, Make sure that the setting is set to XYZ world instead of XYZ local. This makes a big difference. And place it on the end of the bar. Now let's wire. Wire vector from the vector thruster to the subtract gate so that it receives its value. Now let's place the gun. Place a turret on the vector thruster and make sure the vector thruster is frozen. But since the vector thruster tends to shake around when it's being used, we'll want to remove the weld from the pistol to the vector thruster and weld it to the bar. So R click the pistol with the weld tool, like so, and then weld it to the bar. 
Make sure the gun is frozen before you do this, or it will fall to the ground. All right. Now so crosshairs appear while we're in the seat. Pull out a constant value of one and place it on the board. Then wire crosshairs from the constant from the advanced pod control to the constant value. So crosshairs is constantly receiving one, so they're constantly on. Let's try it out. Accurate and deadly. Okay, that's it for the turret. Moving on to the missile. Let's head the GM flatgrass. Okay. As you can see, I've already got the crosshair set up. Wired crosshairs from the advanced pod controller to the constant value of 1. Now to make our missile, we're going to need a wire explosive. You can use simple if you want to. But remember the settings. Do not, ex do not remove on explode and do not weld. So leave those boxes unchecked. And make sure you have a blast radius, radius of roughly 250 so that it actually does some damage to the surrounding props or people. Next, for forward propulsion, let's place a thruster on the back. I like to have my thruster at around 25,000. It gives it a good forward motion. Now for the steering. As I said, we're going to use the same techniques as we used on the turret. So we'll be using a vector thruster. The plate I just placed can be found in useful and explosive props. Alright, placing the vector thruster on the plate, we'll need to no-collide the plate and the thruster with the missile, so that I can place them inside. Okay, now I can just handle them with the fizz gun into roughly the, nose, the center of the nose cone on the missile. This will give us the same effect of attaching a vector thruster to the end of the beam as we did on the turret. Now, weld both these to the muscle. There you go. Now you can see they all move together. We'll need that. Now, just like we did with the beam on the turret, let's place a GPS at the back of the missile on one of the fins. This will log the position of the GPS while it's flying. This is our first vector. Now, to compare the two vectors, once again, let's place a vector subtraction gate. Then wire A from the vector subtraction to the GPS. And once again, B to the aim position, like we did on the turret. Now, so the thrusters operate when we want them to, I'm going to set mine to W. So I'm going to wire A from the thruster to the advanced pod output W, and then wire MOL, which is short for multiply, from the vector thruster to W. Multiply means multiplier, so it's usually it's either one or zero. Now what I just did there was I wired vector from the vector thruster to the subtract, like I did on the turret. Now, lastly, wire detonate from the missile to whatever key you want to detonate with. Alright, I've placed some destructible objects around the map. There, 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 and there. That can be destroyed with the missile. Now, for, the most, a for the most possible accurate flight, and to make sure it actually gets off the ground, we're going to set the weight the missile mate to 1. Okay, now it's ready to fly. Let's try it out. W to fly, and left click to detonate. Let's target that and blow it up. As you can see, it follows the mouse cursor perfectly. Alright. Now for the YOLO camps. One down, one to go. Destroyed. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Have fun guys, and don't get banned.